All right, it's time for another one of these one shots where I pick a game that the others might not have played before, but uh, nope, I think they would like to enjoy. Not. Here's the thing now, you've all technically seen this game and probably just not realized it. This is Killer Queen Black. Uh, this is an arcade game that came out a couple years ago that only showed up in a couple barcades in different locations, but is at MAGFest oh. every year. So you've probably walked past this and not realized it. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, so two questions. Yep. So it's not Killer Black Queen, it's Killer Queen Black? It is Killer Queen Black. And two, is one of the weapons in this game dynamite with a laser beam? No. Oh. It is not, it, it is not a reference uh, okay. to <laughs> either JoJo or Queen. You knew where I was gonna go next. Yeah, that's why I said JoJo <laughs> first, because I saw you moving right up to the mic. I'm like, I'm gonna Killer stop Killer Queen! That. And just stop that right now. So the original one. arcade version is a 5v5 arcade machine. It's a beast of a machine. It's huge. Dan, if you want to show a picture of that boy, you can go ahead and show that. <gasps> this is a 4v4 wow. version of the game. Killer Queen Black with online play and uh, a couple more quality of life options such as way more maps <laughs> and uh, a bunch of other things there. So I figured I would teach you guys how to play Killer Queen Black. Kirby Queen! Sounds cool. Yeah, Kirby's right there. I have a cat who's coming right from my lap. <laughs> All right, so it is a little quirky. Oops, I forgot. I need to go back because I've already goofed because you guys have to join on this screen, which is weird. Oh, okay, yeah. everyone's in. Nope, not quick play. That's online. Local wireless to start an on this machine only game. It's All right. Local communication cannot be used because there are too many controllers connected. <laughs> no. <laughs> too many cooks ah, in really? the kitchen. What the heck? Oh my god, it, me out. it can't do four player local. It does need two machines. Meow. No, I tested this. I thought it was no. hi, buddy. He's trying to make you feel Aww. better. Hello. Kirby's like, it's okay, John, I'm here. <laughs> I hope it's not because it thinks there's five controllers because of Tim's controller. I'm gonna be Maybe real, it I'm does. gonna be real sad if it thinks that's five controllers. It probably does. Uh, hmm. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to test this. Hang on. It's yep, entirely yep, because it's the of Joy -Con. that. It's entirely because of that. Wow. So uh, apparently, it doesn't recognize the fact that the Joy Cons, when you're using them together, are one controller. It thinks they're two, so you well, can't. If you have, it adds as five players. It is two separate Bluetooth devices. It has to be synced to. Yeah, but it thinks as a result that that's a uh, that you're using five controllers instead of four. So I'm Proton John two. I'm Proton John one. I'm three. And I'm Proton John. <laughs> Finally, that multi-universe thing kicked in. <laughs> All right, so here's how this works. Uh, we'll start first with just us on separate teams, two and two v two, and then we'll bring bots into it later because this is a four v four game. Otherwise, so I'm gonna teach you guys the game. There are two distinct, different roles. There's the queen, and there's the worker. So there's three workers per team, and there's a queen on the team. Every team has to have a queen, as far as I'm aware of. I'm queen. All right, I'll be the other queen. Uh, everyone else, make sure you're locked into your spots. There you go. Okay, there are six different maps to choose from instead of the two on the arcade machine. And with all this shenanigans done, we can actually finally start the match. Hooray. So what's the point of spending $4,000 on an arcade machine if this $10 version has more stuff? This is not $10, this is $40. Oh, so I could either have no, no pants, still same logic. underwear, a very prudish, or be a gimp. I'll be a gimp. Well, the point is, it's also not a machine you can just buy. Like, it's only there's only like I think a dozen machines out there in the wild. Oh, maybe something like that. So it, it's a very short amount either way. Uh, but it was just like it was just made for a barcade, and then a couple other barcades picked it up, and now they actually have like a full blown home release. Uh, this is specifically the Switch version, as you can tell by the shenanigans we have with the Joy-Con issues. However, this is on Steam for sure, Discord, which was giving it away for free if you had Nitro. Huh. And uh, it will be on Xbox Live and play PS4. Probably by the time this video goes out, they'll both be on there if they weren't at a launch. And also, it is uh, cross-compatible. So if you have it on Steam, you can play it against people with the Switch and vice versa. Okay, there are three different ways to win, which they showed on screen earlier. There is military, which is if the queens kill each other. Uh, workers have infinite lives, but queens only have three. There is economic, where you grab these little berries and bring them back to your base and fill up the little gaps on your screen. And there's also snail victory, where the worker can hop on the snail and just bring it to their goal by riding it. But obviously it's a snail, so it's a bit slow. 
There are three different ways to win the game. Otherwise, uh, traditionally, military is the most common one, but sometimes you can surprise it with the others. Workers can bring berries to their uh, gate, or they can go into these little uh, shields here to transform into two different forms. Uh, depending on which way you're holding the D-pad, when you hop into it and you're holding a berry, that's the transformation you're going to get. So, oh, so you, have to, you need a berry to do that, then. Yes, so here on the one I'm at the bottom, uh, this will either turn you into a character with a gun or a character with a shield. Or I think that might be just a defense boost. You can feel free to try that. <laughs> and a gun! Too. Gun's obviously the better one because it's a long-range option. I killed somebody. Oh. Yeah, queens have uh, two different methods of attack. They can fly infinitely by tapping the B button. The A button will do a forward lunge, and down on the D-pad will do a downward stab. You can also do the lunge out of the stab. Okay, I was wondering if I had more attacks than just A. Yep. Okay. So that's the main way to go there. We have three lives. Those are significant. Uh, those are marked by the cocoons mm -hmm. up here in our bases. This is cool looking. Excuse, excuse me, John. All right, so enough explanation. Let's get to work. Uh, whoa! Oh, God. As you can see, the screen wraps around a lot here. So you can just kind of like flip around and do various things here. All right, yep, someone's already Defend going for the snail. Someone's already going for the snail. Defend me! Ah! Yeah, queens have one more job, too. Like, they can touch the bases and make them their own team color, so no one else can uh, make units out of that one. Oh. Uh, the snail's free. <laughs> Emil, I need you to do a, I need you to kill Tim at least once, that way can, we can slow him down so I can collect more berries. Because I need to eat the purple berries. I eat it, the purple berries. Yep. Tim's got a bit of a lead here. And oh no! Oh, he got me. Oh boy. Uh, oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh no! Oh, we're getting out of here. Oh no! 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 They need two berries left. That got Tim. Ah, nice. Go for it, Tim. You can do it. It's a pretty cool respawn, though. Oh, I think he has a pit down there. Get in. Oh. Oh god, he's going. He's going for the snail. He's going for the snail. Gotcha. What? Oh. Ooh, That's a geez. military victory. You stabbed me through the shin. Your your legs no longer exist. <laughs> hey. Oh, this is interesting though. Your legs are dead. So as you can so see, the main point of the game is it. that you have three different ways to win, so you have to learn how to balance between the three. We almost won purely on the berries alone. Yep. So you guys started panicking, which made it easier for me to get the military victory, because I just stabbed me on the foot because he was chasing Tim constantly. Huh. So you see it's a balance between the three different things, and you guys were going for the snail too, which oh, is also geez. like a tricky one. But yeah, like that's yeah. what I like about this game so much. It's like having to balance these three things so much. The only downside is like it's it's team based, so you very much need more players. With eight human players or ten if you have the arcade one, it is insane chaos. It's an excellent oh, game. I can imagine. But uh, obviously here we've just got the Oopsie. four. Unfortunately, if you want to do uh, eight players on the Switch without using online, you do need two systems. Oh, that is confirmed, which is honestly a bit of a bummer. But I mean, there was only so much they could do, I guess. Yeah. Control scheme wise, it really only uses a couple buttons, but uh, all right. uh we gotta get Tim. Oh, snail, snail, go snail. Go for Tim, snail, go for Tim. Snail. So, uh, only you need to be a soldier to stop oh, God. him. Yeah, you need to be a soldier or the queen to kill the person on the snail. But if you're a normal unit, a worker unit, you can actually sacrifice yourself to the snail to slow them down. The snail will actually eat your character. Yeah, I, I had that happen to me. I yeah. didn't realize that. I didn't realize that was a thing, and I thought I just died in vain to the snail. Yeah, if uh, if your queen saves you in time, or if a, another a soldier saves you in time, then you can get out of it. Otherwise, you'll just be eaten and have to get the respawn. All right. Work uh, soldiers cannot ride the snail, so that's a, an important point. Oh, no. there. If you decide to go with the soldier route, you actually. <laughs> <laughs> if you that go the fun. soldier route, you have to actually focus on military. And you can't transform back until you die. Play the funky moves until you die. Oh, no. oh god! Go for it! I'll guard you! Go for it! Sacrifice! 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 Uh -huh. Get him! Get him! Get him! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying. What? Nice. Uh, military! <laughs> oh, that was you hitting me! Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hat trick! Hat trick! That means I got all three kills. Ooh, Can you carry the berries as, soldier, as a soldier? No. Okay, so the so, 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 so soldier basically, the, the, each each one of like the workers has a specific like thing that they do. Yeah, each one has a specific role. There are buffs you can get for the workers. The lightning bolt is a speed up, and I think the shield is is just like a defense, but I don't remember for sure, because they added a bunch of things for this oh, version of the game that I'm not used to. I keep thinking I can like jump. Oh god, you almost got me on that. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna be careful of that screen wrapping because I got a kind of milk. Yeah, the screen wrap there. That's interesting. Ooh. 
Saw you coming. Ooh, also fun. Yeah, I also gotta get to one of the holes. Oh, too. <laughs> I saw you. De defend no, your no. worker! Ah! Oh, jeez, wow. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be guarding that snail now. Oh, right remains so. He just really want that snail victory. Snail victory is like, in an arcade, it's super satisfying, so. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, I'm making oh, it there. Back your queen. You gotta, oh god! Ugh. You knocked me down. But I'll get up again. You're never gonna keep me yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> so it's first to three, so if you. Go for it, Dave! Go for it! You got, you got this! No, 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 no. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Get back here. Oh, oh man! Wow. Gotcha. We got right. crushed. There you go. Well, I'm the only one who's played the game before, so that makes sense then. But now we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna throw in some bots. Bots don't have selectable difficulty, so they are very competent as a result. <laughs> hmm. uh, so it's, I just wanted to make sure you guys learn the basics of the game before we actually hopped into it. Seems a, seems a yeah. little bit uh, easy. Oh, Tim was playing easy. his bagel. I sure <laughs> was. Yeah, so it shows you like how many kills you got, how many times you died, uh, <laughs> how much you moved. 17 to, to nothing. <laughs> oh no, I died twice. I had the least deaths at two. No, I meant 17 deaths to zero. Death. <laughs> 17 kills, whatever. You know what you I mean? You got nine. <laughs> I'm, whatever. <laughs> Wait, do we want to back out? No, that it. This should this should take us to what we need.